amazing! This is just like magic! You both realize, of course, that in the past few hours, you have broken perhaps a dozen school rules. Yes, sir. And there is sufficient evidence to have you both expelled. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Therefore, it is only fitting that you both receive special awards for services to the school. Thanks, sir. And now, Mr. Weasley, if you would, have an owl deliver these release papers to Azkaban. I believe we, we want our gamekeeper back. Harry. First, I want to thank you, Harry. You must have shown me real loyalty down in the chamber. Nothing but that could have called Forks to you. And, um, second, I sense that something is troubling you. Am I right, Harry? It's just... You see, sir, I, I couldn't help but notice certain things, certain... certain similarities between... Tom Riddle and me. I see. Well, you can speak parcel tongue, Harry. Why? Because Lord Voldemort can speak parcel tongue. If I'm not mistaken, Harry, he transferred some of his powers to you the night he gave you that scar. Voldemort transferred some of his powers to me. Well, not intentionally, but yes. So the sorting hat was right. I should be in Slytherin. It's true, Harry. You possess many of the qualities that Voldemort himself prizes. Determination, resourcefulness, and if I may say so, a certain disregard for the rules. Why then did the sorting hat place you in Gryffindor? because I asked it to. Exactly, Harry, exactly. Which makes you different from Voldemort. It is not our abilities that show what we truly are. It is our choices. If you want proof why you belong in Gryffindor, then I suggest you look more closely at this. Take a true Gryffindor to pull that out of the hat. 